Hey, welcome back to the book of Philippians. Wonderful way to start our day. We're in Philippians chapter 3 now, verses 1 to 3 for our reading. Listen. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same things to you is not tedious, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the mutilation. For we are the circumcision who worship God in the Spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. Now, the thought continues on into the next verses, but that's going to have to be tomorrow morning. Right now, what we're looking at is this. He keeps talking about rejoicing, doesn't he, if you've been following through the book of Philippians. And then he says, beware, there's something I want to warn you about. Here's one of the warnings in the book. He's concerned about the circumcision. Beware the mutilation. We are the circumcision. There were people who were saying that only persons who could be circumcised, only those people are in the covenant. Paul is telling his brethren here in the church in Philippi, no, he says, who is the circumcision? Well, the circumcision are those who worship God in the spirit. You know, anybody can kind of come along legalistically and, and claim to be following the commandments. But if our heart isn't on God's side of the question, what do you have? And so there were a lot of people who'd sort of left, left the rails. They'd kind of gone off the rails of Christianity. They'd gone off the rails of the worship of God and were doing something else, kind of a quasi-worship thing, which God isn't into quasi. God wants us to be uh, holy for him, completely given over to him. So Paul says, beware. Beware these people who want you to be circumcised and want to continue that as a requirement when that's not a continued requirement. It's not something that you have to have to have in the covenant. There was a time where that was sort of part of the plan, but this, this is different. The risky business here is to have confidence in the flesh, you know, to say, well, hey, I'm circumcised and you're not, so, you know, I'm in and you're out. That's not the way it works. We who worship God in the Spirit, if our heart is given over to him, then that's the key piece of the covenant. That's what Paul is saying. Don't let other people mark you off. You know, oh, I got another three people to be circumcised. What we want to do here is be on God's plan. And Paul is telling them there is a risk. There is something dangerous happening. And there were people who were called Judaizers who were trying to get everybody to continue to live by many things that had been given to safeguard Israel before. But those are things that are needful in the time after Jesus has died on the cross. So there are some changes, and we want to be true to the word. Paul is warning us, we want to be people who worship God in the Spirit. I hope that's who you are, and I hope that's who I am. And then we want to do what God says, but we don't want to trust in any outward signs. We want to trust in Jesus, who died for you and me on the cross. And let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the fact that in Christ, we can be people of the Spirit. In Christ, we can follow through and do the things that are needful and good for the kingdom. Help us, dear Father, to be careful about any commandments that people might impose on us that might seem to be some kind of a credit to them or some kind of a way of earning our way into the kingdom. Jesus dying on the cross is our way into the kingdom. May we never forget it. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. And let's neither you nor I forget that. God be with you today.